Oh, my trusty little purchased ultrasonic toothbrush. It was as dead as a dodo on the windowsill. No life in it whatsoever. Wouldn't even light up when placed into the charger here because it's got a charging coil which charges up wirelessly here. But um, yeah, it was dead. Let's see if it's back to life now because I was probing around. Nothing looks bad. The switch had some corrosion around here, some green shit. But I've just measured the resistance of the switch and it works. So then I uh, measured the voltage, used my probes to measure across here to see what's going on. And it only blew switched on. <laughs> yeah, it works now. It's like I had to jump start it. Maybe there is a failing switch. But it's good. Thankfully. I like this toothbrush, it's ultrasonic. I've always wanted to take it apart and have a look inside. I can replace that battery. It's soldered in there. 3.7. Job it. Somebody I know better than me. It's not quite a 3770 thing or whatever it is. It's a bit, bit smaller than that. But anyway, it works. It works. Oh, awesome. I can clean my teeth, hopefully. <laughs> oh no, I'm just holding the charging coil and look, what does it mean? Is it fully charged? The battery reads good. Yeah, it's not coming on though. Huh. Does it still work? No, it's gone dead, look, don't work. Don't work. Alright, my probes are coming out again. Right, dead as a dodo. Right, I fixed it. Short circuit surface mount capacitor. Right next to the switch. C10 it's labelled as. It was short circuit, holding the switch low at all times. Because there's a, a pull-up resistor here. It's got 3.7 volts on the, the uh, bus side. And it was measuring 24 millivolts on that side. So the toothbrush thought that I was pressing the button in all the time. So it wouldn't. It went, actually went into travel lock mode, according to the manual. So there you are. All working. So if you've got one of these toothbrushes, look at C10. Ta-da.